Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar, and today we're talking about the Scope Glint in Call of Duty Vanguard. The glint mechanic has been around for a very long time, and it seems that it works differently in every Call of Duty title. Knowing exactly when you're revealing your position to the enemy is super important, and in Vanguard, glint isn't just a concern for snipers. Even if you're a run and gunner, you're gonna wanna stick around, because glint even works on shotguns. We'll begin by examining which optical attachments produce glint. Right off the bat, we can see that each of the sniper rifles in the game will produce glint with their default optics. Of course, there's literally dozens of optics to choose from in the gunsmith, and as a general rule, all scopes above a 4x zoom level will produce glint. However, there are some outliers which don't follow these rules. In the sniper class, we have a handful of high zoom optics which produce glint and are clearly labeled in red underneath the attachment description. There's two notable mistakes, however. One is the K98 Scout 10X telescopic, which makes no mention of glint in the description. However, when used in game, it does in fact produce glint. The other mistake is with the Type 97 5X telescopic, which states in the description that glint is present, when in fact the optic produces no glint when used in game. Optical glint isn't just for sniper rifles. Several high zoom optics are available for the other weapon classes as well, and will in fact produce glint. Strangely enough, the 1913 variable 4 to 8x scope produces glint even when equipped on a shotgun. Of course, it's unlikely that you will ever need a 4x scope on a shotgun, but nevertheless, if you did, the glint would be visible from far beyond the shotgun's minimum damage range. One optic worthy of mention is the SVT-40 PU 3-6X scope, which is available for sniper rifles, marksman rifles, LMGs, and ARs, and offers a variable magnification level of either 3X or 6X, and produces no glint at either level. This makes the SVT-40 the highest zoom optic available in the game without glint, and since it's a very clean looking and versatile optic, it's a very good choice on a sniping or long-range build. Now that we understand which scopes produce glint, we'll look at the distances and angles when glint will be revealed. The glint reveal range starts at about 4 meters and extends out to a seemingly unlimited range and is only visible when aiming down sight. The aiming tolerance area in which glint is visible is very large and includes most of your field of view. It's circular in shape and actually extends above and below your field of view. This means that you'll actually produce glint for the enemy to see, even if the enemy isn't visible on screen. It's also worth mentioning that your field of view setting, or the distance of the target, will have no effect on the size of this area. On the receiving end, the glint will be visible anywhere within your field of view, regardless of your field of view setting. As long as the glint is being produced within a direct line of sight, and isn't obscured by smoke or explosive debris, the glint will be visible and you don't need to be looking towards the enemy. Well, as you can see, using an optic which produces glint puts you at a pretty significant disadvantage. With the incredibly fast time to kill in Vanguard, staying somewhat hidden will often mean the difference between extending your streak or dying. I think that narrowing the glint reveal cone by about 50% would make sniping more viable and provide more balance to the current weapon meta. Of course, this is all just my opinion, and now I'd like to hear from you guys. Do you like the glint mechanic as is, or would you make a change? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below, and if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.